real world. People get hurt, bleed, die. It's kind of like a structure. Kind of like God gave us this this plan, and if we have faith in it and follow its rules, it'll protect God's world. There's a reason for everything. Yeah, I think sometimes things happen for a reason, and sometimes I think things happen that just suck. I'm going to ask you a question that's real, real important, okay? Do you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior? Tell me now! Do you believe that Jesus Christ is your Lord and personal Savior? Yes, I do. That's really good. <laughs> you didn't have to hurt him. Am I making you sense? I'll get up for you. Love you with all my heart, and I hope you don't hate me more than you already do. I wasn't true. Time to talk now. And I don't, I don't, I don't want to get caught up. See, my shit's feeling weird already. Say, I accept you, Jesus, into my heart, and I want the good and the light into my heart, not the bad and the dark. I don't want no harm to happen to me at all. Try to say it for the bravery, no. just for the hell of it. No, no, I ain't, I'm, I'm not doing it because it, it means something. It means good. Why? No. Do Why wouldn't you want to clear that out of your system if you think there's demons there? And even if you're schizophrenic, who gives a fuck? Just say it. I'm It'd be, not schizophrenic, though. I don't. I know, right? I don't think you have any symptoms of that. Just. To yourself, oh, you say that there's things I'm, going on I'm in about, you. I'm about to pass out for real. For real well, for real. quit. Quit, uh. Postponing accepting Jesus into your heart because it sounds like corny, but I think it's the right thing to do. Obviously, right? Why wouldn't you not accept him? He's not anything bad. I've seen him. He feels good. Maybe it could be like a whole new, just a, a human temporary, temporary feeling that he give you that feels so good because that's what it did to me when I saw him. Give me a dollar. Give me a dollar. Put the Batman shirt on. Pisces. <laughs> Just say it for the hell of it. You hopeless too. Say I accept you. Go, go, go. 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 Get away from me. Say I accept you. Say I eject. I accept you. Like I was a Sagittarius. And that's what we should all try to do, right? Is the right thing. But you're fighting it. That's why it's even more worth it because you're like thinking that that's not the right thing to do what do you mean what what else could it possibly do what wrong or right could it really do because you said it doesn't amount to fucking shit and you think that lucifer works in mysterious ways which i never met him i don't even know what you you're talking about maybe you have demons around you maybe not i don't know but if you do it's just better to run them off with jesus's presence because that's the only thing we can think of right it's worth it, don't you think? If if there is something wanting to just bind you and harm you, is that right? You don't want to be bound to dark spirits. Well, who would? Hey man, but I'm I'm getting. I'm, Try to I, say I, it. I, say I it need, before you. I need to take me now. You need to say I, I. No, I'm not gonna say that. Why? What would be the What would be the difference? Who's saying telling you not to? What do you mean? Someone's telling you not to do it, and that you're not interested. I'm, 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 I'm not going to say that what you're talking about. Why? It, it, for one, yeah, I feel there's something funny about it, not in your behalf, but it's something to it. You know what I mean? Yeah, even if it doesn't work while you say it, it could work in the in long run, as long as it opens that up, you know? Is that what you mean? Like it might not even happen, it might just be a disappointment? Or it could possibly actually work, and it might irritate irritate those demons or whatever, right? Right? Well, I, I if it's if, if if you think those demons are trying to trap you, right? What wouldn't it be better if they were gone? If they are bad, you call them demons, and that means obviously it's not just like fellow friendly spirits, right? So just say it. Do it. 
Say, I accept Jesus into my heart. He accepts Jesus into his heart. I can't force you to do it. But hey, do it. I've been a preacher before. Hey man, I'm, I'm gonna close my eyes. I can't help it. Say I accept Jesus into my heart. No, I'm not gonna say that. Why not? Close. What would it do? What you mean? What would you think it's gonna do? I, I don't know. What's the result? I you ain't gonna die. I can't answer that. You'll I be don't safe. know. It could, I don't... it could save you because of the light. It, it could cost me too. Well, why don't you say I accept no, the, the not, light into I'm my heart? Gonna, I'm not gonna say that because some things it ain't cool to accept. <laughs> well, you don't want to accept the demons around you, do you? That, that's what I'm talking about. Well, then, well, I don't then, want them in my life, and they, I know Lucifer works in mysterious ways. Okay. He through people. Well, through then, people. tell them to stop working through you if you think it's harmful. They're working through. They're okay. working through you too. Uh -huh. Oh my God. To do what? I, I Bullshit. Have no, I don't. I have no earthly idea on that one. Who knows? I never met him, so. Oh, I don't know who Lord. that is. Well, yeah, I say Lord. Why'd you say, oh, Lord? So, so that you accepted the Lord's name. So, obviously, that's something. I'm going to pass out. Well, say I accept you, Jesus, in my heart. Just for the hell of it. Just because uh, you're forced. I'm not saying that for the hell of it. Why not? So you think there is a Jesus that could come into your heart and fill you up with good presence of unconditional love. That's all it is. What's so harmful about that? Don't it's all kind of romantic. Come on. Songs, dancing around. What's going to be wrong with that? Don't you want to be filled with unconditional love? Unconditional love is a beautiful thing. Well, wouldn't you want that into your heart? <sighs> yeah or no? You want hate in your heart or you just want an empty heart? <laughs> I mean, that's what makes oh, sense. No. Sometimes hating. It's logical to hate, big fucking deal, it's a tool, so is judgment. Sometimes hating can be a beautiful thing, you know what I mean? Sure, it's a very <laughs> rele <laughs> releaseful thing, I mean, we're all going to be able to have the ability. But, light, why don't you want light in your heart instead of darkness? Do you have? Do you think you're dark inside? Do you think you have darkness inside of you? Or what? Do you? Yes or no? Hello? Do you think you have darkness inside of you? Or you don't know how to answer? I can't, I can't answer that one. You can't. Hey man, I'm, I'm, I'm trying. For real. This is the stupidest fucking bullshit that anyone could ever try to swim away from. It's retarded. That's that's exactly how people act all the time. They ignore everything and just go on to disregard everything. It's fucking pathetic. But you're not a bad guy. You're totally fun, cool. And to let me yeah, talk to you like this. Yeah. What? Yeah, right. I don't want to go to hell. That's retarded. That was good. I want to hear more of it. Speak to those demons. Let them wait, come through wait, you. Wait. Might as well. If you're going to allow demons to speak through you, might as well talk to them. What's your name, demons? My your name. Might as well do something with them if they're there. If you're there, demons, talk to me through this guy. Help from the holy place. Do it. Hello? If you're not there, then, uh, that's creative. Either way, right? If, oh, man. If Jesus, you're there, speak through him. <laughs> yeah. Get those on camera to see what you sound like. See what they say, in case you black out and you can't remember. That's something to document, don't you think? Anyways. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Do you like that? Does those demons not like Jesus for some reason? Because they know that the light can scare them away. Don't they want Jesus into their hearts? Hey demons, ask Jesus into your hearts and see if you can be filled with light. Because, wouldn't you think that that's better for you? Do you want what's better for you? Are you bounded by somebody who's not better for you? Can't you get out of your darkness if you are dark? Wouldn't that be the curious answers and questions and wonder and, you know, trying it out for eternity? Just do the right thing, obviously, right? 
<laughs> this is it. But I, I've, sick business, I've, I've been a brain surgeon, a vagina colleges. I've been a, I've been a cop in a few different towns. How do you know? You hear something or see something? No. Just asking you the questions. I've, I've been up for two days. Yeah. I, I don't do drugs or nothing. Mm. But something's been keeping me up and I, I want to close my eyes for a minute. Right, this disturbance and the noises can keep you up too. Well, it ain't the noise. It's like toxic it's, noises. It's not the noise, it's, it's, the, it's my demons. Yeah? They, they fucks with me. It could be a lot worse. They fucks with me. But they I'm fucks listening. with me, you yes. know what I mean? Yeah. But still in all though, I, I, wanna, I, wanna, I wanna close my eyes for a minute or two, you know what I mean? Go ahead. <laughs> Damn. No, what I'm saying is, I want to take a quick nap. It's okay. I do know about this stuff. No. So. Okay, I was going to Kansas City, and I was trying to get there real fast, so I was doing about <clears throat> 90 to 100. And I had been up for almost, over, almost two days. And... I fell asleep and I woke up when I hit one of the mileage uh, mileage signs to show you where the miles is. But and I went down in the ditch in the middle of the medium and I come across the highway. When I come out the ditch, I was five feet in the air. And when I come down on the other side uh, in the dirt, bus both. The tires on my side, it, new tires, I, and, and I linked it and uh, started throwing dirt up in my face and I couldn't breathe. And I said, Lord, I can't breathe. And this like golden angel or spirit. Wipe the dirt away, dust away, and I could bring out to the breath. And I went on up the medium in the dirt and stayed on the medium about one foot from falling back into the medium. And it stopped at the top, which was about 18 to 20 feet high. If I had just swerved back that to the left, I would, it would have flipped me back into the ditch. And wow. stayed there all <laughs> night, and somebody came and got me that Saturday evening. It was a Friday wow. at about seven, eight o'clock when I did it. So I stayed on the highway <clears throat> a good while. What was your other spiritual experiences with seeing spirits? Okay, my auntie, when <clears throat> I was a little kid, and my auntie had died, and she uh, came back into my room. That's the one. She used to take care of me. I used to sleep. When I go to my grandmother's, she stayed with my grandfather. And I used to sleep in her bed. And uh, she <coughs> came, seemed like she was coming to get me. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know what she was doing. I got scared. <laughs> Is there any other ones that you can remember? Uh, like, I'm, like sometime when I'm walking around when I be in my house or be, I can see a, just a glimpse of spirit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Grooviness. Damn, that's the way I have to do it. Okay, so... I asked ask that girl, I said, hey, Katie, you see that? And she said, yeah. I said, yeah. I said, obviously, it was just He's grateful and everything because he didn't say nothing, but wow, that was a trip. Right. People say when they see ghosts and shit, they think they don't say nothing, but you have to be listening spiritually too. Just because you can see them doesn't mean you're listening to them. You have to be listening with your mind's ears. You're basically your third ear. 
just like you're seeing them with your third eye or whatever, with your mind's fucking eye, basically, that's what it really is. Then you have to tune in with your fucking mind's ears for real, and then you can actually hear them if they're communicating telepathically. But also, you just have to sit there and fucking focus on them and never get distracted because you will lose them and they'll disappear. So the more you focus on them, the more you can communicate with them or get the information from them and hear and see their story that they want to show you or a little movie picture of what they want to communicate to you because that's how they do it and that's how it works. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what I've seen spirits. I've seen so many spirits. Hello, and I got evidence, bitch. Okay. Yes, and I see my dad too, and he told me I can look over your shoulder at other people and uh, tell them what their problems are and stuff like that. When he was dead, that's what he told me. And then he told me first. The first thing he told me when I was with my mom, he goes, "Your mom is so beautiful; she could be a model." And I told my mom that that he was with us, and she's like, just arguing with me about some fucking shit about it, like. Okay, and it doesn't have to mean fucking nothing. It doesn't have to even be important what spirits say. It just confirms that they're there or they're just saying stupid shit and they don't realize, oh, yeah, I forgot to give you confirmation that I'm actually really fucking here instead of telling you to tell them, oh, I love them so much or something. Like, you know what I mean? That's so annoying when spirits do that because they, they don't give you enough information to convince the other person that the message is for, that they're actually fucking there. And that's how it's happened. Right. Different times. 